Chuck said three words, Mofungo. You the man. Well, that field goal, you clinched it, LaSalle. For the first time ever, a fourth grader will represent our school in the toss, boot, and punt competition. Yes! Way to go! Righteous! All right! The shucks, guys. We're nothing but a thing. The buses from the other schools arrive at recess today. Until then, I suggest you rest up, LaSalle, and beware of the meat in the cafeteria. Trust the Kluger. If it's gray, stay away. Wow, Vince taking on the best arms and feet from every school in town. Isn't it great, Spinelli? Yeah, real great. Only problem is I'll be a failure by then. Well, what are you talking about, man? It's that stupid math test we got today. I was gonna study last night, but I got kind of busy. The Minister of Mayhem squared off against Frank the Florist of Fear. You skipped studying for professional wrestling? Doesn't everybody? Well, Sal, this was supposed to be my year. My time to shine. My turn to toss, boot and butt for good old Third Street. And you come along and beat me? How do you do it, fourth grader? Hmm, let's see. Maybe it's my shoes. Well, I got the same shoes as you. Oh, then it couldn't be the shoes. Because I beat you bad. <laughs> hey, I know. Maybe it's this. A marble? Not just a marble, Lawson. A lucky marble. A lucky marble? I should have known it was something like that. Oh, for a minute there, I thought you were better than me. Do Third Street proud, LaSalle. Whoa, you still have that thing? Never leave home without it. Hey, uh, Vince, you know, we got this math test coming up today, and I was just wondering... Don't say another word, pal. Now, I've never done this before, but seeing as how you need a little extra juice for the test, well, just be sure to get it back to me before the toss, boot, and punt contest. Wow, thanks, Vince. Good luck on the quiz, Spinelli. No need to wish it, buddy. I got it right here. Spinelli, the charm of that nature is a very personal possession. If you cherish your friendship with Vince, you better guard it with your life. Shows what you know. If the thing works, then I'll be lucky. Ipso, flipso, nothing bad can happen. Duh. Did I just get dud? I hope you all took my advice and had a nice piece of fish for breakfast, as this test will require lots of brain power. Come on, Marble. Hey, I know this stuff. Mwah. Fractions, fractions, they just kept coming, Sarge. Wave after wave, it was horrible. That was one tough test. My brain hurt. Personally, I feel listless and unchallenged. Boys and girls, feast your eyes on the Minister of Math. Thanks to this little bad boy, those answers just popped right into my head. It was almost as if I'd been paying attention all year. Hey, look, the buses from the other schools are here. My marble, Spinelli. Yo, LaSalle, where are you going? We're about to get underway here. Be right back, coach. I need more cereal. Ah, complex carbos. Way to train smart, son. Yep, with a marble like this, who knows what I could do? Look, here comes Vince. But first, I gotta wash it. You know what they say, a clean charm is a lucky charm. Hey, where's Spinelli go? I need my good luck charm. The competition's about to start. She was just here. I think she's watching your good luck charm. You know, for good luck. Well, listen, I can handle the toss without it. But tell her I need it back before the boot portion. Ah, good as new. Hey, Spinelli, Vince really needs that marble back. He'll get it, he'll get it. I just want to make sure I didn't accidentally wash the luck out of it. I mean, you wouldn't want me to give back a defective good luck charm, would you? Now, let's see. What takes some real luck? Only a fool would try it. A fool with a fistful of luck! Friends, I'm gonna prove this thing still works. Gretchen, your bow, please. Oh, Spinelli, what are you doing? I'm gonna make Hustler Kid a little wager. A wager? Hey, you're not gonna try to get your Christmas presents back again, are you? Yep, with one blindfolded shot at the hoop. And if you miss? Simply this. All my worldly stuff is yours. Is she nuts? She's got some really cool junk. It's gonna hurt to take it all away, Spinelli. What am I saying? I'm gonna love it. Shorty, hand her the egg. Spinelli, the odds against your sticky this particular J are astronomical. Prepare to gasp, luckless chickens. The marble will guide me. I can't look! <laughs> of all the rotten luck. Depends who's talking. You got one week to get me my stuff, son. Man, this baby's dripping with luck, and I'm living, breathing, math test passing, basket swishing proof! Okay, fine, you proved your point. Now give the marble back to Vince. Yeah, yeah, just one more test. Only this time, bigger! Here we go again. You aren't gonna jump, are you? You bet I am. But Spinelli, you stink at jump rope. That was then, this is now. Mink and seal and tiger and bear. Cute or cuddly, we don't care. Snip it, cut it, be sure it's not fake. How many fur coats can we make? One, two, three... Yeah! Not bad for a second grader. 
Like, look who's talking, Miss Two Left Boots. I suppose you can do better. Watch him, Lily. Ashley, Ashley, turn around. Ashley, Ashley, touch the ground. Ashley, Ashley, in a skirt. Ashley, Ashley, go eat dirt. Yay! In your face, Ashleys. No one beats the cat's eye. And while I hold it, nothing bad can possibly happen. Bad, LaSalle. Now limber up that kicking foot. Will do, Coach. But first, another bowl of cereal. Way to dance with what brung you, you very special fourth grader. Oh, man, I'm so upset about this thing, I think I'm gonna hurl. And on top of that, here comes Vince. Yeah. Where's Spinelli going? Uh... What he said! Man, I really need that good luck charm. I did pretty good at the passing, and I should be all right at the kicking, but Punty's my weak spot. She say when she'd be back? Well, if you see her, tell her I need it, quick. Looks like Vince's winning streak is down the drain. Oh, man, this swamps. Vince trusted me, and I lost his lucky marble. This is a classic friendship ender. Guys, guys, I think I see it. There's got to be some way to get that marble out of there, and fast. Hey, I got an idea. Anybody got a stick? Here you go. Great. Now, Spinelli, give me your chewing gum. Huh? Stick the gum on the end of the stick. I think I see where you're going with this. Yep, I poked the gummy stick through the grate, and presto, we snagged the marble. Spinelli, how long have you been chewing that gum? A couple of days. Why? Excellent, LaSalle. You're leading the pack. You just got to out-punt that big kid. Uh, the boot, I think they call him. Just don't forget the rule. You got to take three steps before you kick the ball. But, Coach, I only take two steps. Like in the pros. This isn't the pros, LaSalle. I'm doomed. I'm doomed. No, you're not. Ta-da! No, Mikey, we need more gum, not another stick. It's not a stick. It's a very long straw. I'm gonna suck that marble up. Oops, I think I swallowed it. Nope, the marble's still down there. Uh, I gotta go to the nurse. Now what are we gonna do? Behold, Explorer C-3000. Just a little extra credit project I worked at for science class. As soon as the patent goes through, well, let's just say the college is paid for. You think that thing could... That's why I brought it out. I've calibrated enough dexterity into the Z-3000's robotic arm that it should be able to reach and recover the marble. Up and at him, Robo Fingers. <laughs> What's going on? I... I can't control it. I think she's still got a few bugs to work out. What are you doing, Spinelli? Sliming up my arm with cooking grease so it can slide through the grate. You can't reach the marble with your arm. I gotta try. I'm staring down the barrel of a friendship ender here. Yes! No! Well, I guess it's all over. Oh, come on, Spinelli. You're overreacting. No, I'm not. Vince trusted me with something really important to him, and I went and lost it. Now he's gonna hate me. Hey, me and the rest of the guys will still like you. We won't let you borrow our stuff, but we'll still like you. Okay, next up, the boot. Come on, Spinelli, I need that thing. A 50-yarder! Looks like Vince is up next. Now seems like a good time to hide Spinelli. Nope. Sometimes a kid's gotta face the sound. Vince deserves the truth. You're up, LaSalle. Hey, Vince. Perfect timing, Spinelli. I'm up next. You got my good luck charm? Yeah, about that. Listen, I'll completely understand if you hate me and never talk to me again, but I lost your lucky marble. It was an accident, okay? I know I shouldn't have let it happen, but I did, and I... I... Come on, man, say something. Well, I don't know what to say, except... Hey, look, a shiny nickel. This has to be better luck than that crummy old marble. Let's go, LaSalle. Well, got a book. Remember, LaSalle, three steps, not two. Sixty yards! If they could just bother what that kid eats. <laughs> but, but, what about acing the test and beating the Ashleys at jump rope? Well, it sure wasn't the marble. Maybe it's really all about self-confidence. Confidence? Yeah, maybe you got something there. Hey, where are you going? Gotta see the Ashleys about a rope. Over the years, I've found you can never rub it in enough with those girls. <laughs> <laughs>